excited. This is my first time ever participating in like any form of Vlogmas here on YouTube. So very, very excited. It's going to be 12 straight days of a new video every single day ending on Christmas day. So we're kicking off day one with a good old hair video. You're gonna basically spend a week with me and see what it's like to have my hair for a week. So I'm going to show you wash day today and then check in every single day of the week to show you how my wash lasts, how do I go to sleep, how do I wake up. I did do a video just like this with my longer hair. So this is just gonna be like the short hair edition. So it'll be cool if you guys have watched the other one, you can kind of compare to see how things are a little bit different this time with my hair shorter. And yeah, so we'll get into all the details. Let's just go ahead and jump into this wash. So first of all, we are starting off with day six hair. Normally, if I wasn't filming this video today, I probably would have let this probably go on a couple more days. I'm loving the volume. One thing about this new cut, it's, it's volume. And it takes a couple days for the volume to get like really big like this, but I think it's such a vibe. So I am gonna do an entire black owned wash. Actually, it's fully Briogeo today. I've been loving their super moisture shampoo, especially for the winter. I feel like my hair just needs that little bit of additional moisture. So um, basically lately, these are the two shampoos that I've been rotating back and forth. Last wash, I used this, so we gonna be using this today. All right, and then I absolutely love the way the Brio Geo Super Moisture Conditioner works with the Super Moisture Shampoo, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this for conditioner. All right, so we pretty much flew through shampoo and conditioner. It's pretty much how it goes for me. With shorter hair, I don't have as many tangles and stuff, so. Love that for me. So obviously where I spend most of my time is styling. I'm also very excited to try something new today. So this is an in-shower mirror. It's supposed to be fog-proof and everything. It's by Melanin Hair Care and it has like, it has a film over it. Hold on, let me take this film off. <laughs> Guys, look at that. Look at that. So yeah, one big difference, I definitely just love styling in the shower with my shorter hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this up maybe in the back here. Huh? Oh, that's gonna be so nice because now as I'm styling the shower, I'll be able to properly actually see my hair to make sure if there's any frizzy spots, we can sort them out while we're still in the shower to make sure our washing goes are gonna come out flawless. I love this, I'm very, very excited. So for styling, I am going to use one of my favorite gels. This is the Brio Geo Pro Charisma Frizz Control Gel. Love, love, love this thing. It is a light to medium hold, but the thing I love about this gel is that it's curl defining. Some gels just have hold, they don't really help to define your curls, but this is the type of gel that actually will encourage curl definition and then have a little bit of hold. I love that the hold isn't like too crazy as well because it doesn't weigh my curls down. Like on into day three, day four, I mean, you guys will see later on in this video, my volume will just increase, 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 and it will just get better. It ages like wine. All right, so this is the section I am starting off with. And now for styling, it's a very delicate balance between having your curls wet, but not too wet. Because we're in the shower, you can kind of tend to go crazy with the water, but I've learned that that can actually dilute the gel and make your washes not last as long. So what I do is just kind of zip my head in just a little bit. So you can see here they're kind of dripping and then I scrunch. So this way, I feel like it's getting rid of excess water and also kind of like squeezing the water, aka moisture, into my hair shaft. Because y'all know I don't use leave-ins anymore. I just use water as my leave-in, okay? And it's been amazing for me. So literally, I can feel it happening. Look, you see that? Ultimate curl definition with this gel. Obsessed every time. But I actually think this is feeling like it's at a good level. I do like to use a lot of this gel though, so I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. Utilizing my mirror. Oh, shit! <laughs> Maybe I should have put it up before I actually got in the shower on like a drywall. That probably would have been good. I'm also actually gonna grab my Camille Rose Pro Maker. I Y'all know I love this. It's my little topper gel. Cause this middle part here is it gets a little frizzy, so I'm gonna actually experiment with this today to see if I kinda seal my gel in with that. Will it help to prevent this middle area from getting crazy too soon? You know what I mean? 
I feel like every curly girl has that really crazy patch in the middle of their head. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Curl definition is on 5,000 right now. Whew. Okay, so I've diffused a little bit, just enough to get it to stop dripping. Um, first of all, I have to say, like, I'm very, very, very happy with this wash. Y'all already know the deal with Rio Geo, though. Like, it always gets my life together every single time, but, like, I'm highly highly impressed and you see what I'm talking about like a curl defining gel hits different for the rest of the day because I have time today I'm just gonna go ahead and let it air dry the rest of the way so I'll check in with you guys a little bit later to see how we're drying but so far I mean the curls is popping all right so quick nighttime checkup it is just about like 8 p.m. now and my hair is like mostly dry like my ends are dry but the roots are still a little little teeny bit damp but here's how we are looking so I love for my day one at the by the end of the day to be like this obviously we've got zero volume high curl definition but the thing is my hair is very big my hair will fluff out on its own especially with this kind of gel where it's very lightweight like over the next couple of days you guys are gonna see it's just gonna kind of like grow and so so far we are on a great track as for nighttime I get a lot of questions from you guys as to my nighttime routine. I don't do anything at all. <laughs> so basically I'll just kind of lift this up and then lay down on my silk pillowcase and go to sleep and hope for the best. That's basically my current nighttime routine. So yeah, this is how we're looking on day one. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Okay, so it's day two. It is in the morning about 10 a.m. and this is how I woke up. Talk about a good Wash, this is nice, this is nice. Um, well my goal for wash days is always to make sure that I'm putting all the effort on day one on wash day to make sure that at least, at least to me, a good wash is gonna take me through day two, day three, maybe even day four without me really having to touch it very much at all. So <laughs> we've definitely got that today. I keep getting a lot of questions on how my hair is doing without using leave-in conditioners, just using gel for my wash. They're flourishing. Okay, my scalp is too because there's way less buildup on my scalp and my hair, and it just, it's just, I don't know y'all see the juice. And because it's Sunday, I don't really have any plans to like go on the road or anything because if I went out like on the road, I feel like this looks a little crazy, it's a little flat, so I would usually fluff it up a little bit more, but because today is Sunday, I don't feel the need to really fluff it up, and honestly, the less that you touch your hair into longer days, it's gonna last. I'll probably do more actual fluffing tomorrow, Monday, because we have content, more content to create and all that stuff tomorrow, but yeah, that's my day two morning check-in. Okay guys, so it's day three. I didn't really have any other updates for day two. I didn't touch my hair at all, didn't really do anything to it. And I feel like we are looking really good for freaking day three, huh? How about that? Without like wrapping or anything like that, this is again why I always say you gotta put all the effort that you can into your day one, like into your wash day. Put in the effort and it'll be worth it because I'm really barely gonna have to do anything to my hair this week. We really had a good, good wash. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today is kind of fluff it out a little bit and kind of start to shape it up. I'm starting to get volume, so my shape is really starting to show off a little bit. Bangs are looking a little crazy, so I gotta shape these out too. And that's really all we're looking at for today, I think. Honestly, why is my hair growing so fast? See how the volume is just kind of like slowly coming through, you know? No frizz, curl definition, and some really nice volume. And the more volume we get, the happier I am. I just love this cut with a lot of volume. So here we go, that is our day three check-in. It is about midday right now, so I have some content to create and everything. So glad the curls are popping for that. Um, I may check in with you guys later if I do have any more updates, so peace. All right, so day four check-in. It's 10.30 right now. I just spent like the last hour filming a skincare campaign, so the most I've done to my hair is 
apply this headband so let's take it out i definitely feel like we're gonna need to go in with a little mini refresh today but here's a little close up so you see obviously volume is still coming through every day it just gets bigger and bigger and i love that love it love it love it uh, but of course we are losing a little bit of curl definition at this stage and getting increased bits of frizz so i'm going to show you guys how i like to do a light refresh like i don't think it's necessary to do like a full-on deep refresh if you are interested by the way in seeing how i do do a deep refresh that basically gives you like a fresh wash kind of vibes with your hair without actually having to freshly wash your hair then i did do an entire dedicated video to that so i will link that up here and in the description box below so you guys can check that out as well so but today yeah i think all that's necessary is a quick light refresh we're talking like a little five minute thing best product for a light refresh is definitely going to be some sort of foam mousse this is a new one that i tried like a couple days ago it was great so i'm gonna go ahead and use it again so i'm just gonna start by kind of fluffing out my hair when i'm refreshing i I really just focus on the top maybe a little bit in the bangs bangs are very important if your bangs look frizzy it kind of throws off the entire vibe the entire hairstyle so I'm kind of just gonna spot check so boom right here so we've got a defined curl that's entwined in some frizz so I'm gonna actually separate that like this to me still looks pretty fine this on the other hand is completely like frizzed out right so I'm just gonna take that grab my foam and then just smooth the foam into the curl. So it's adding moisture back to my hair. It's giving us a light hold so it will get back to being fluffy. It's not gonna be, you know, kind of weighed down like it would be with gel, um, but also gonna give us the amount of hold we need so we get rid of that frizz. So boom, we are back to being nice and defined frizz wear. So quick and easy, that's basically how I get the job done. So there's a little bit of frizz sticking out on the side here right here so literally this is what i do i just spot check be like hmm, where it looks a little frizzy tame it down with the mousse and that is it this is literally like a five minute process and i love it and also another reason why i like foam is that it dries very very quickly so even though you see it, it's kind of obvious that we refresh this curl it's going to dry really really quickly just because of the consistency of foam that's just how it works One of the things that I really also love about an older wash day type hair is the volume. So I'm really not being picky about, oh, we gotta get every single bit of frizz now because I really like the volume. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to balance it back out. I feel like when we started, it was kind of like more frizz than anything else, but we're just trying to balance it back out. So there's a little bit of curl definition in with the frizz, so it then looks good again. Do you know what I mean? Do you catch my drift? Do you catch the vibe? I'm a lazy natural, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. If there's a way that I could simplify my routine, anything I can do to make my hair routine simpler and easier for myself, I'm gonna do it. So literally as I'm refreshing, the curls that I have already refreshed are already starting to dry. Like that is how quick foam dries and that's why it's my little secret weapon when it comes to a light refresh because it's just perfect it's perfect so that's basically how i do a quick light refresh and usually after i do a light refresh on day four if it's a good refresh and a good foam product i usually don't have to refresh again necessarily until my next wash like this should carry me on into day six but we'll see i'll continue to film every day we'll see how we go but this is one of the things that's great about healthy hair and also short natural hair. I love it. It's it's the ease. It's the flourishing curls. It's the perfect routine for a lazy natural and I'm loving it. Loving it. Okay, day five. It's looking good. Literally, literally, this is how I woke up today. Like this wash is doing really good. So I feel like all we really need today is just... A little bit of fluffing like i just i love 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 the amount of volume on day five and day six so i'm gonna just fluff and reshape you can see a couple of spots are looking a little crazy just from being slept on but overall i feel like this wash 
is doing pretty good. I mean, it's the volume for me. Look at that. Look at that. That's cute. Y'all, I love me some volume. I love me some volume. <laughs> Look at the difference. Fluffed, not fluffed. <laughs> All right. So yeah, basically the goal on day five and day six is always to just work with the volume. Like I just pump it up. I let it be big and I let it. I love it, I love it. We do, you know, like you can see in the back, it's starting to get a little frizzy and stuff, but I really don't care. Like this is, these are the days, day five and six, where I work with the frizz. I let it be frizzy. If it was overly frizzy now, I would probably go in and do another light refresh, kind of similar to what we did yesterday, but I feel like yesterday's little light refresh got us where we need to be. I would also like to reiterate that when it comes to nighttime, I don't do anything to my hair, which is why I haven't been doing any nighttime check-ins. I literally go like this and lay down on my pillow and go to sleep. Like I don't, I don't do anything. I don't wrap it. I don't put it up in a clip. I just currently, right now at this moment, don't do anything. That might change. Maybe if it grows a little bit longer. I don't, I don't know. But as of right now, I have zero nighttime routine. So just okay, guys. Day six, final check-in. Here's how we're looking. <laughs> it's pretty frizzy. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna try and like fluff it out to see if we can work with the frizz or do we need to refresh or do I need to squeeze it into a hat? Like what do I need to do? Because today I have a nail appointment. I'm getting my Christmas nails, which I will also be vlogging for part of Lismas. So you gotta stay tuned to see what they look like. Um, but yeah, I gotta look somewhat presentable. I'm like tempted to put it in a hat, but also Today, as I'm filming it, today is my big shop anniversary. It's the day, this on this day, December 9, 2017, I cut all my hair off and went fully natural for the first time. So I just kind of feel like, you know, because of the day, I need to rock it, I need it to be big. You know, it kind of feels like my hair's birthday. So maybe we'll just do a little bit of refreshing. Yeah, let's do that, let's bring out the mousse. So same thing, same mousse, same technique as day four. I am just going to spot refresh a couple of curls on top. That way we can kind of even out the scales between frizz and curls. Cause it's day six, right? There's gonna be frizz no matter what and I'm okay with it. I love it big anyway. It also really helps to kind of trick the eye when the top, even if it's just like a couple of the curls on the top, I feel like it really helps to trick the eye that there's not as much frizz as there really and truly actually is. Yes, I think this is gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this like a couple minutes to like fully dry and fluff back up. And I'll show you the final results for our final day. Yeah, we really finessed this day six hair, y'all. Look at the difference that made. And it's literally like just a couple curls on the top. We finessed it and it looks really, really good. So we did a six day wash and the curls are still kind of popping. So yeah, that's basically a week with my hair with a lazy natural who likes to make things as simple and effective as possible. Here we go. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with me and also kicking off day one of 12 days of Christmas. It's about to be so good. I can't wait for y'all to see all the rest of the videos I have planned for you. Sneaky little hint, if you saw a weird like pop-up graphic, maybe just take a note of it. There may be a pop-up graphic in each of these holiday videos and I don't know, maybe on the last video, you might get the keys to the answers and you might be able to just win yourself some goodies. That's all I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm saying, okay? So definitely stay tuned, make your notes, and make sure you're subscribed so that way you don't miss any new videos because you're just gonna wanna make sure you see every video, period. That's all I'm gonna say. That's a little more than a hint, huh? <laughs> yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you tomorrow for day two of Christmas. Bye.